Hey, what's up? It's Tony here, or 15 Minute Gamer. This is a little video. Someone tried to scam me on Facebook. Well, they didn't try. They didn't succeed at all because I knew straight away. What I want to do is record a video and just kind of show you how these scams work and just so you don't ever get sucked into them. Because I know people do get taken by them. At the end, I'll show you where I got the information from, how I got the information, and hopefully this could help someone. So I hope you enjoy the video. It is humorous but covering a serious subject. So last night I got my first ever, and this is amazing, Facebook random ad from a random person that I instantly knew was going to be after some sort of money or a porn bot. So I thought, you know what, let's have a little bit of fun here. Let's see how far I can push her before she blocks me, not the other way around. So I've done some screenshots of what we talked about and also then the Skype call. It amused a lot of people on Twitter last night and I hope you enjoy this video. So... Here we go with what the screenshots were. At first, I didn't want to appear rude or anything like that. So, you know, we started off a conversation with, how do you know me? Because, to be fair, she could have been off, off Twitter. She could have been an old friend. I don't know. I've known a lot of people on Facebook and Twitter over the years. So, we start off a nice civil pace. So, she's had a nice little introduction. I then go back to my normal weird self. And make it up that I'm an animal handler for a local animal park, mainly owls and stuff. I then helped in the Harry Potter movies. I didn't think she could beat that with her job. She skipped over my job really, really quickly, which I didn't like. I was like, really, if someone told me I was an owl person for Harry Potter, I'd be all over it. No, mind. She worked in Sainsbury's. So, obviously, working in Sainsbury's, a trustworthy person. I could trust with my money. So, this is where the start gleaming information from me. She asks, do I live alone or with family? As far as I can tell with these scammers, they blackmail you, which again we're going to cover later on. This is to find out sort of who they could blackmail potentially and who they could get money from. So be careful. So obviously when you speak to someone, you ask where they live and their job. And of course the next thing you ask anyone is do they like sex? I mean, is that a stupid question or what? Do you like sex? No, nah, it's rubbish. I find it really boring. I said nobody ever. So I find it, but this is where it's starting to go. And again, my let's have some fun with this brain pops in and we do continue to have some fun with this. But yeah, this this is where it all starts to scam anyway, if you had fallen for it. So next up in the scam is Skype. This is where they're going to get the images of you to start blackmailing you against your family and friends so they can make some money or just ask for money for what they show you. Anyway, again, I just have a little bit more fun with this by explaining why I can't webcam. I say that my owls ate my cable, because <laughs> of course. And I ask the all important question because we're building up a brilliant friendship here. Do you like owls? Because if she doesn't like owls, we've got a huge, huge problem here. However, she feels to answer the question. Now, this one I really thought would be the final straw for her. I thought nobody can keep going after this. I decided to give my owl a name Derek and bring in an American bald eagle called Sandra. I then announced that I'm dressed as Harry Potter to start training for the new Harry Potter film. Yet she still wants to talk. Wow. So basically, the final bit of this Facebook chat was I said I was installing uh, Skype. And uh, don't worry, now I've got changed and put the owls away as they were getting grumpy because obviously everyone knows that owls have to be in bed by 8. However, they have bunk beds. Wouldn't bunk beds for owls be so cool? I imagined that all night. Great. So next was the bit where I thought, have I taken this far too far? Anyway, of course I hadn't. I had more and more fun things to do. So I set up with Hedwig Trainer on Skype and Georgie Owl Trainer at Hotmail.com's email address to get Skype set up. And next, I record our Skype conversation. Now, I will warn you, her webcam comes on for about two seconds. I apologize deeply if that offends you. But stick with the video. It has a very fun ending. So I hope you enjoy it. So I've been having a little bit of fun with a spam bot. Uh, well, a spam bot, but someone added me on Facebook. Um, what I thought I'd do would be to... Well... Yeah, add it to Skype. I've told her I'm an owl trainer, hence Hedwig, Hedwig trainer, and I trained the owls on Harry Potter. So she wants to get naked on cam, but um, what I'm going to do is obviously say I haven't got a cam, and I've loaded up some owl noises, and we're going to play them now. So she's calling, so we've got owl noises lined up. Let's give it a go. 
Hello? Ah, there you are. Yes, you definitely are in bed. She ended that call kind of quick for some reason. I don't know why. Oh, she's come back, she's come back. Let's see what we've got. Sorry, yeah, I'll turn my cam on when... Um, yeah, the owls have been a bit annoying at the moment. Can you hear them? You've hung up again. Yeah, I was just... Because, yeah, I told her that, <laughs> that the owl's confused me for a snake. Because, um, you know, I don't want to risk uh, getting bitten. Yeah, because... <laughs> Oh, no, she really wants to do it back. God, <laughs> so I got owls. I should have my green screen. I re if I had green screen behind me, it would just be brilliant. Because um, I could put owls up, it would be humorous. Um, I've got a webcam, but I don't want to put it up. Um, I'll tell you what. I'm going to see if she'll give in. I hope this doesn't go not safe for work. I apologise hugely if it does. I just want to play owl sounds to her and see what she says. Um, okay, how about we just mic and then go for cam as I am shy. <laughs> God, please don't play owl noises to you. I don't know why. This has gone too far. This was just a conversation on Facebook that was hilarious. Um, I will put the screenshots in somewhere. I don't know where. Um, yeah, go on. Mic up. As I'm sh I'm pretty shy. Um, I'm going to bring the speaker around so when the owl noises come on, she can hear it. She should be able to hear it. I have no microphone. Oh, that's not going to work. Right, I need some decent right owl noises. I almost want to put me cam on, <clears throat> but I'm not going to. Um, what does the bar owl sound like? Please be intro. Oh God, yeah, um, yeah, owls are getting really angry. <laughs> oh come on, please answer the f answer the call. Gone, just answer it. So you've got no microphone, that's a shame. You have to put video on. Two seconds. Derek, shut up! God, it's really noisy. <laughs> oh, that was... Oh, hey. Jesus. Anyway, <laughs> that's the fun you can have with a spam bot. I'll see you all later. Goodbye. So I hope you've learned something from this video. I know it's kind of run a humorous way, but that's because I want to have some fun with it. However, serious message, people do get scammed by things like this. And really, I just want to show you how I realize it's a scam. And this is what I'm going to explain now. So anyway, random Facebook request. She just says, I've become from a suggested friend, which of course, because we have nothing in common, I know that's probably not the case. Also, she has very little information on her profile and one picture, which Facebook is very locked down now, but it does start alarm bells ringing. What I did next was save that picture and reverse image searched it onto Google. Now to do this, you go into Google, go on images and drag your image into the search bar. So once I did this, this site came up, which was a scam website, which shows you when people have been scammed. 
Um, it explains how the scam works and some details so that you can not get scammed by this person. Also, the date was very recent on this exact same picture. So, you know this is what happened. Apparently, since then, what I've learned what they do is they invite you onto cam, as you can see in the video. They ask you to show your bits first before they'll show you theirs. They then take videos and screenshots of your bits. And because they're on your Facebook, they can basically blackmail you into giving them money. So they'll say, look, unless you give me £2,000, that's it. I'm going to show everyone your bits. And that's kind of how it works. And I would presume most people would be tech savvy. However, I know some people aren't. And you can possibly see how this scam could work on someone. But... Please just bear in mind these things do happen. Well, guys, that's a video. It didn't mean to turn it that I was just going to put screenshots on and stuff. But, you know, if it helps someone and someone doesn't get scammed by one of these idiots, then it's all worth it in the end of the day. So I hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, serious message there. Don't be a dick. Don't get scammed by these people. They'll probably be spending your money on lots of nice stuff when you could be spending your money on lots of nice stuff. Just remember, it's just not worth it. I hope you've enjoyed the video. I'll see you all later. Goodbye.